Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashers Night here today and we're taking a look at uh, Loyal Subjects Best Action Raphael, which is the IDW Raphael. So it's the same one if you watch the Batman Ninja Turtles crossover. This is why I got them, because of the crossover. Although they did this limited series where they um, had costumes. I was like, I don't, I don't want Ninja Turtles with costumes unless it's like them actually being the characters, like the Power Rangers. Anyway, what you see in front of you is the figure on his bike. Um... And I guess we'll move it out of the way, take a look at the box first, and um, just a heads up, he is heavy. Uh, so here's the box. Uh, nothing too fancy, it's just a clear like storage case here. Here's the back, probably the coolest part of the box, frankly. Look at how nice the picture looks. And you get that uh, art style there. That's a uh, classic IDW. But let's get rid of the box and uh, pull Raphael back up front here. I'm going to pull him off here, and we're going to stick him in the back here to take a look at the bike. Now... Uh, I have notes, not about the bike, mind you. Uh, the bike um, actually has this nice uh, blast effect, or whatever you want to call it. It's a peel-out effect. Uh, it's plastic. It fits cozily in the tire here. It keeps it in balance. There is a kickstand, uh, which snaps into place really nicely. Um, so here's what the bike is. Uh, there is special editions of this bike in a sparkly red. I, I had the link added to the description for IDW because they're our big bad toy store is selling that version. But this is the version from Walmart, and um, it's fine. Uh, it went on sale recently, so it's going to be hard to find at Walmart. But again, if you want the fancy version, you'll want to go do the uh, Big Bad Toy Store one. It's like, does this? So like, do these come up? But I mean, it doesn't look like it. Because if they were, did come up, they would be up in the packaging. Anyway, it's a rather well detailed bike. Um, the wheels. Don't turn very far, but you know, you get the e-fits on there as you saw. Not too bad. Uh, pull the kickstand down, and uh, we can just stick it right here. So, here is Raph. Um, I have a few complaints. This is my second best action figure. Uh, my previous one was the giant Krang because I mean he technically was in scale to the the Playmates figures. So I was like, yeah, that works. Um, so. Uh, as you see back here, here's his well-textured back. Uh, so his bandana, his weapons, additional hands all come separately packaged. So you have to put them together. His belt is just friction-based. There is, like, nothing holding it on there. And uh, and then the head, of course, uh, it's on a ball joint. It up and down, left and right. And um, arms also on ball joints. And as you see, the belt is slowly coming down. Although it might be attached in the front. Yeah, it looks like it might be attached. It just uh, it sags in the back. Uh, anyway, um, arms flexible around. I have uh, sh um, upper arm articulation, shoulder bend. Uh, the hands do come off. Uh, they only rotate at the bit. There is no up and down. Or at least for, yeah, there's no up and down. Okay, uh, so basically the arm bends at the elbow, and uh, this is one of my complaints. The bit is so short. See if I can get it to focus there. It's, it's kind of difficult to get off. Uh, well, no, difficult. It's easy to get off. It's difficult to keep on. Um, anyway, uh, rotation at the thigh. Uh, leg goes out. Also on a ball joint, very long one. Uh, knee bends. Kind of like this three-way bend going on, which is fine. And uh, the foot is on. I'm gonna assume a ball joint because it kind of just wiggles about and is adjustable. So, yeah, it's on there. Um. So, yeah, he's as a mix of loose and tight. Uh, first off, getting the size into his hands are a pain in the butt. And, I'm, I mean, they go really nicely back here, though. That That is actually pretty awesome. But the hands, uh, let alone these hands, which are meant to hold the sides, are super tight. Um, first, also his legs. His legs just, you know, whatever. Uh, there's also this uh, uh, right hand. It's basically an open hand. And then there is this left fist. And his right open hand. Somehow different fingers are less spread. And then the same thing for the left hand. So, um, I'm a fan of keeping the hands that can handle the size. It's just like... How do I, how do I show this here? So, this hand, as I try to keep them on here, has... It shows like a joint in here, but I guess 
it's not maybe I mean, because they, they show it and I know you probably can't see it because camera probably can't focus that small but there seems like it can move but it doesn't I don't all of them seem to have that piece and maybe it's just the way the piece goes in I don't know anything about these figures in general the Krang bits are so big because he's such a large figure that they could basically look like five millimeter ports these look like more like three millimeter pegs so whatever uh, I prefer the Psy hands, but the Psy, the fitting the Psy hands, as you can see, I've scratched up the inside of the hand just to get the Psy in. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, it uh, kind of sucks. Now, the right hand, uh, or sorry, yeah, the, the right hand attaches really easily. Uh, the left hand, as you can see, I've eaten it up a little bit too. I've only put the size in the hands like three times. So, it's it's disappointing. Um, although, admittedly, um, I got this... Walmart was basically clearing out these figures, so him and the bike, and the bike being the uh, more awesome part, I personally, um, was only $20, and so, yeah, it, it's fairly decent, but the, the special edition on Big Bad Toy Store is probably the way you'd want to go, you want that sparkly uh, bike, because uh, Walmart, if you find it in Walmart, good luck, otherwise the resellers are just jacking up the price on it, uh, it retailed for 40 originally. Because the figure is typically 20. Um, so anyway, it also comes with this card. And uh, as you see, it shows the figure. Raph, as, a, as, a, as the hothead in red, Raphael is impulsive and always ready to bash some baddies. He thinks with his fist and his size. He is usually the one that will leap into action and is nearly impossible to get him to back down. And of course, you see the Ninja Turtles IDW logo. Maybe had a glare thing, but uh, yeah, it's decent enough. Um, in addition to the bike tray, he also comes with a second head. I tried to take the head off uh, to put this guy on, but the peg, it's just, it's so tight. And I, I have the same problem with other lines, but I mean, that does look cool though, don't it? I mean, you compare it to his head. Yeah, it's just, I originally thought this was a helmet that goes on his head, but I didn't realize like the ball socket has to... Um, but also I should show you loose leg. I barely have to touch it. Uh, it makes me a little sad, but again, I didn't pay full price, so I'm not too worried about it. But, uh, I mean, otherwise, decent enough set. The bike, definitely the winner. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on this video. Did you like what you saw, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.